Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of my Free to Ford Bronco series. I, where I am trying to turn free inventory into a Ford Bronco. My Ford Bronco, as of the last video, is actually gonna get built. And so I'm trying to sell as much as possible to have a nice uh, down payment for the vehicle. Uh, because there's no way I'm going to be able to, you know, come up with $45,000 <laughs> before the thing arrives uh, unless something bad happens, which fingers crossed and knock on all the wood that nothing bad happens. But at the end of last episode, I uh, decided to roll some of my profits from the inventory that has sold into a thread up box, which is what we're unboxing today. <laughs> Uh, I did pick up a 25 pound men's box. I actually weighed this because apparently I've been doing some heavy lifting recently and I did not feel like this was 25 pounds. It's actually 27 pounds. So I'm guessing that workout at the gym is helping, but we're going to open this up and see if just like all the other men's thread up boxes I have received, uh, if this is also going to be a winner or if I have finally run out of men's luck for thread up. But before I do that, I'm going to give you guys to other Bob and she is going to talk about what has sold from this free to four Bronco inventory uh, since the last time I saw you. Well, hello there. Hello there. Thank you, Bob. You're actually going to see me a few times throughout this video, uh, more than just this, because as I actually started to clean the items and get them under the bright photography lights to get them listed, I found issues. <laughs> so I ended up donating them or just go ahead and throwing them away because they were grody. So you're going to see me throughout the video as a little bit of extra flavor. I don't know why I did jazz hands there, but there we go. So let me go ahead and share what sold prior to me opening this box. And of course, throughout the video, you're going to see what has already sold throughout this box because spoiler alerts, some things have already sold, which is the joy of listing everything before I put out these videos. And then of course, I will give you a total amount of where we are with the Bronco Fund at the end. So uh, four things actually sold prior to me opening this box uh, that I have to share with you. And one of them is this new Docker belt that Melissa sent me. So Melissa, thank you very much. Actually, both the new items that she sent me, sold, these Docker belts uh, both sold very quickly. So Melissa, thank you very much. So this was awesome. She also sent me this sleeveless Nike shirt. Again, it was free to me, so I was perfectly happy to let it go at this price. Uh, she says she has a hard time selling uh, Nike and Adidas and Under Armour. So she gifted these to me and I was perfectly happy to take them. And then two items that I actually pulled from my own closet sold as well. Uh, this Loot Crate Chibi Jurassic Park t-shirt sold. This was a true women's medium. <laughs> this is a true women's medium. Uh, and so this sold and I was very happy about that. And then the pair of Columbia joggers that I actually, when I went to go list them, realized that there were bleach stains on them. And so I just decided to bleach dye it and they sold. So I was really excited about that. Also because of the fact I also found several small holes as well. So not only did it have hole repairs, but it was also bleach dyed and someone still bought them. So, but not everything uh, can be saved or it doesn't make sense to try to save them in a way that would make sense for other garments. For example, you know, I bleach dyed those joggers and that's totally something that you would see out and about that's bleach dyed. But two items from this box actually ended up having bleach spots when I went to go list them, a pair of dress pants and a pair of shorts. And I just was like, you know what? No. So <laughs> just letting you know that. But I will see you guys probably in just a little bit. Okay, so I am super ready to get into this box. Hopefully everybody just like pause for a moment and send me some like good vibes that this box will be amazing. I got my polka dotted paper, which I love, and there's no sticker on it, so I can just absolutely reuse that. So that's already a nice thing to start out with. Oh, this does not feel cute. Oh, uh, maybe it's all right. So this is a button front, and it's Richard James, uh, Savile Road. 14 and a half. I just, it's a weird, it's cotton. Okay. It's a cotton shirt. 
cotton shirt with some interesting vertical stripes. I have never heard of Richard James. This is what I listed it for. I am probably gonna list everything unless it's like super damaged and or like, you know, Walmart. And then, you know, I've bought and sold vintage Walmart before and made money. So I might also get listed. Who knows? We got some jeans. We got some new tag jeans <laughs> and they're J. Crew Factory. So these are originally $89.50 and this is a size 31.30. So that's absolutely awesome. Like, that's great. That's wonderful. Again, I paid $100 for the box. So starting off the top with some. I hope someone's okay. Wow, that did not sound good. Uh, starting off the box with new tags, that's nice, especially in J. Crew. I like selling, buying and selling J. Crew. Ooh, this is a nice corduroy jacket. At least it feels nice. It's a soft corduroy. Ooh, this this is uh this looks like it's a vintage because it has this uh interesting notch lapel. Does it have a brand? <laughs> the brand is Mr. Big Shot. Oh, it's a two-button blazer. It is corduroy. These pockets actually are stitched closed, so... Huh, what size is this? Normally, if you're trying to find the size of a suit jacket, it might be in a tag inside of the interior pocket. This is just amazing. Uh, it's a vintage piece made in India. It's a two-button corduroy blazer. I'm pretty sure I could sell this. I just need to figure out what size it is. That is... I don't know why I find that so funny. It's just the fact that the brand name is Mr. Big Shot just makes me laugh. So I know I, I got really excited about listing this vintage corduroy jacket, but once I got around to actually like going to list it, uh, I couldn't launder this. Uh, at home, I would have to have sent it to a dry cleaner. And as someone who has done that before, I know that the level of body odor that this thing was holding this thing smelled atrocious once I actually like got it up to my face to like check for measurements and all that stuff uh, that uh, the dry cleaner was not going to help. Uh, dry cleaning will get a lot of stains out and will make it cleanly pressed. But uh, when it comes to like a decade's worth of body odor, it is not going to get that out. Also, the interior lining in the armpit was was damaged, so I would have to have sewn that back up and then I would have smelled like body odor and I was just like no so I just actually threw that away because it was nasty <laughs> I cannot describe to you the smell but I'm sure as most of you are resellers can imagine so that that was an immediate no thank you <laughs> immediately no immediately no yeah, immediately no immediately no all right so we got champion uh this is just a small, it's color blocked, which is great. It's a Raglan color block crew neck with the big old champion logo here that says it's a size small, super easy to sell this. Of course we are getting out of, we are out of that winter season, but perfectly happy to list that. I got some shorts, this is great. So this is American rag, so it's not so great. <laughs> But these are a size 31. They look like they are new without tag because there's where the tag would have gone. Um, I might list them as new with new without tag. Let's see. We'll see. I will check comps. We are going into short season, so I might just go ahead and list these and see what happens. So this pair of American Rag shorts ended up not being new without tags. They had bleach spots on them and not only was the bleach spot changing the color, it actually severely thinned the fabric. So the bleach had been on there for way too long. So these definitely also got donated. Uh, oh, this is a Hagar brand, okay. This is uh, Hagar H26, just a pair of these are actually corduroy, so I will list these. These are very uh, low welt. It's a really low welt corduroy. But it's a pair of corduroy pants, and it's a 34-32, so really good basic size. So these dress pants actually had the bleach spots down at the bottom. They were so faint that I didn't notice them on my initial inspection, but once I got around to it, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> 
So I ended up donating those. I could have made them uh, shorts, like dress shorts, but they were corduroy and I just, I didn't want to do that. I would have had to hem them and it would have just been a mess and I just didn't feel like making any more projects. We'll go ahead and do that. We got J. Crew. This is a size small. This is made in Maritus, which means it is vintage. Maritus, who's, the Maritus Islands are technically part of the United States. Um, this is just a nice, not, it's not quite buffalo check. It's not quite a black swatch, but it's a men's small and it's J. Crew, and it seems to be in good shape. This J. Crew shirt ended up having both a small hole and a tear in it. Uh, that I couldn't fix. So I actually added this to my scrap fabric pile so I could uh, quilt with it, craft with it. So it's not going to go to waste. It's also not going to get donated, but it's not going to get sold. Peter England, elite Peter England made of 100% Giza cotton. I've never heard of Giza cotton, but we have a very small, tight uh, purple check uh looks like nothing's wrong with it so i've never heard of peter england i don't know what the sell through rate is or what it sells for and i've never heard of keys of cotton before so maybe editing bob will do a little blurb as to what that is hey so you all actually get three bobs in this video because i thought it would be interesting to share what keys of cotton is because i'm a nerd and i like learning learning new things and my producer here felt like it was important to share as well as get all of the pets. So Giza cotton is a type of long fiber Egyptian cotton. It is considered the highest and most premium cotton in the world, even beyond Pima. Pima is known for it being very soft. Uh, Giza is more known for the quality. There are actually multiple strains of Giza cotton uh, based on the year that it was hybridized or born as you might want to call it. So there's Giza 70, which is, would be mean it was created in 1970, Giza 87, 1987, Giza 88, 1988, and Giza 92, which was 1992. However, in all of those, there is one that is beyond, is considered the queen of Egyptian cotton, and that would be Giza 45, which as you can, you can figure out from my previous explanation that it was created in 1945 and is considered the best out of all of them. So now you know, now I know. So if you see it on a tag somewhere, we all know. <laughs> I'm going to give you back now or if it's any good or not, but I'll probably still list it. Got another purple shirt also by Peter England. This one's made out of premium cotton and it's a slim fit. Uh, this is a 42 centimeter instead of a 42 inch uh i don't know so it's another purple shirt so normally with these men's boxes is that they just get the they unbag the the thread up bag that they get like the closet clean out bag and they literally just dump it into these boxes so a lot of stuff is just like straight donations it'd be like going to the bins with the straight donation bin so a lot of things are going to be similar brand and or similar size. So if you get a really good box, that could be absolutely amazing. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. All right, uh, this is Hugo Boss. This is vintage, this is so vintage. This is vintage Hugo Boss. It's a three button pimp coat. That's untoward, but that's, that's what this reminds me of. This looks like, what's that villain? What's that comic book villain? Gosh, I'm not gonna be able to remember now. I can't remember if it's Batman villain or not. But this just looks, this is a three button big man coat, probably from the late 80s. Let's see here. Scorsese movie styled like The Godfather. This is a, it's like a 42. Uh, you know what, I don't know. I'll check comps and see if it's worth listing. It's definitely something. You know, maybe it'll sell for Halloween or something. I don't know. That's uh, that's interesting. It has the full pants too, so it's a full Hugo Boss suit. <laughs> this is this is just very fun. It says Scorsese movie U.S. All right. Well, we got some pants. This is a 42R. They look like they have they they've got quite the short inseam. 
I decided after checking comps that I just didn't want to deal with this big bulky item. So this Martin Scorsese style like pinstripe suit, I just went ahead and donated it if someone needs a suit for an interview and would like to look like the Godfather uh, to, to make a deal that you couldn't refuse. There we go. <laughs> they could do that, but I just went ahead and donated that and I, I just didn't want to deal with it after looking at comps. I was like, you know what? I know I said something about that, but just no. At least I got the full suit. I didn't just get one or another because they're pen striped and pen striped is really hard to sell with it's just a blazer. So don't feel really comfy about that, but it's something. So we got a Nordstrom. Got a Nordstrom, 100% cotton wrinkle free. Just a basic button front shirt. I will list that. It, it's probably not going to get much, but it's fine. Ooh, what are you? You are Ralph Lauren. You are modern Ralph Lauren. You are little Ralph Lauren. So this is a size medium. Yeah, this is a vintage. Well, no, it's because it's white labeled. I'm guessing this is maybe like 90s or Y2K Ralph Lauren. This is really soft. It's 100% cotton. It's got sailboats, so that will definitely sell with this upcoming warm weather. I don't know what you are. You feel weird. We got Eddie Bauer. Sweet. I would definitely have picked this up at the bins if it's in good shape. The zipper works. That's always nice. This is a men's size medium. Most everything in this box has been small or medium except for the uh, big boy suit there. And, it, and 42 isn't a big boy. It's just because it's so... Whatever. You get it. So we got a nice little windbreaker jacket. This is actually pretty great. Let's check the pockets. Do I get money in the pockets? I'm still waiting for that to happen. That has never happened to me. Ah, here's the rub. I might be able to fix this. So this pocket zipper has come loose. I might be able to fix that. This one works though. I'm still waiting for that day to find something besides tissues in a pocket. I don't think that, nope, that has happened. I found a very small matchbook in one of the vintage Pendleton jackets uh, from a private club. Uh, that's about it. That's the most interesting thing I found besides tissue. All right, so we have Michael Kors, not Michael Michael Kors, but actual Michael Kors, a uh, pair of 3330s. This is just a pair of polyester dress pants. That's fine. Ooh. <laughs> I have a six pack. Are there six in there? There are six in there. So I've got a new pack of Tommy Hilfiger extra large tidy whiteies, but they're not just white ones. There's some black and gray and other colors in here. Actually, I think they're all black. They're all black. All right, so we got some tidy whiteies, but they're black with white bands. That's uh, that is not something I've received in a box before, <laughs> but at least it's new, so that's good. Oh, we got a vest. It's very shiny. This is H&M, so this might be the only thing I don't list. It's very sparkly. This is giving me like prom. <laughs> it's giving me very much prom. I probably won't list that. <laughs> probably the only thing I don't list. We got a pair of extra large uh, Under Armour pants. These are just track pants, they're not joggers, so good basic. These are nice thick, these are nice thick lounge pant. Definitely will list those. Oh, there are shoes at the bottom. That's nice. Under Armour again, and this is a unknown size. There is no size. There is no size. I don't know what size these are. I'm gonna guess they are also an extra large based on them being with the other ones. Well, great. I've got two pairs of Under Armour lounge pants. I love selling men's Under Armour. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it does typically sell really quickly. What do we have here? We have, oh yes. We got Ted Baker. I love Ted Baker. I actually found about out about Ted Baker from doing a thread up box and Ted Baker normally sells really well for me. Some pieces sell really well as far as high as ASP. Uh, some don't, but it normally sells quickly. So this is a just a basic back back 
basic black button front. This is from the Endurance line. This is a size 16 neck. So that's pretty great. That's exciting. I'm excited about that. I see more new tags. What are you? Calvin Klein. All right, this is new tags, Calvin Klein, long sleeve t-shirt and a size small. The original retail is $49.50. I'm definitely not getting that for that, but I'll probably get, you know, 15 bucks. I'll be fine with that, like Marshall's prices. <laughs> perfectly happy with that and again I don't have a problem selling all sizes I've I've made so much money off of men's small and medium stuff so I sell everything I don't know what this is it says flex it I don't know if this is 2XU designed and tested in Australia I have no idea what this is uh, I still have that Bondi top which is an Australian brand that I thought would sell because uh, I've heard of it before um, so I don't know if I list this. So there may be two things that I have, I'm not listing, but that's not bad. Ooh, I see Adidas in there. What do we have? We have another pair of brand new J. Crew shorts with a button fly, and this is like the vintage J. Crew label. So this is size 40. Uh, yeah, that's great. I will do a vintage button front that is dead stock in a size 40 short with a, looks like a seven inch inseam. That's great. So I got two, two pieces from J. Crew that are brand new with tags. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy. A uh, pair of Dockers. So look, uh, something I'm not going to sell. <laughs> this is a Slim Taper 3030. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna sell this one. I think this one I will donate. So that's not bad. Cause like Dockers is just an overs. I have sold, bought and sold doc Dockers before, but they were vintage. Um, so these modern ones, I'll just donate them because they are in good shape and someone could still use them. And then we have Fink. I have no idea. I've never heard of this brand. I don't think it's something that might be worth reselling. This is cotton and made in the Philippines. Uh, vertical stripes, the size small. So I'll put over here if it's worth listing or not. If you see a, a listing, it is. If, if not. All right, and then everything else is shoes. So it looks like I have four pairs of shoes in here. I have a pair of Adidas. And if you were new here, I pronounce it Adidas. Most Americans pronounce it Adidas, but I worked for Adidas for quite a while. So I pronounce it the rest of the world way. You do you. I'm not trying to be pretentious. It's just, it's named after Adolf Dossler. So Adidas, Adidasler. Okay. Anyway, I haven't gone through that spiel in a while and I know that there are new people here. So I'm going to put that on there. These smell like man and not like funky man. They just smell like someone bathed in cologne when they wore these. So these are cloud foams. So these are just basic trainers, but again, perfectly happy to list them. This is like, the most 90s style of shoe of all time like this is giving me pink like peak 90s dad like gonna go out for a date night with mom in a sitcom <laughs> it's just me these are madden so they're steve madden um they're called the m traces they are size 12 and they still have a shoe form in them it has this like weird like toe print pattern on the bottom. It's kind of giving me the ick, but I will see if these are worth listing. If you see a listing over here, you will know. Sperry Gold Cups. So I have bought, these look brand new. So these look new. They still have the inserts in them. Uh, they have no creasing. So I don't think these are been worn. I'm, I think these are brand new. So I have a brand new pair of basic Spearies. What size are you? Cause you might just go to my boyfriend. Oh, uh, they're nine and a half. So I think they're nine and a half. Are they nine and a half? Uh, so I'm a men's seven and these look like about, uh, I think these are too big or too, too small for him, too big for me. Hi, so I'm actually here to share with you a positive and not that I did not list these. 
I was very surprised when I actually went to go list these and checked comps. Uh, I know that these are new without box, but even in pre-owned condition, specifically the Spiri Gold Cup series of boat shoes is a bolo. These sold for over $55 very quickly and that is because specifically the Spiri Gold Cup shoes have a 78% sell-through rate. So this was awesome. So now I will actually take a moment when I'm in the shoe section to check all the Spiris to make sure they are not the Gold Cup Spiris. Apparently they are a little bit cushier and made a little bit thicker. So they're the premium line of the Spiri Boat shoes, but now I have a new bolo and now hopefully you guys will also have a new bolo as well. So don't pass on all Spiris because some of them are worth picking up and I thought this was nice. But that was cool. And then a pair of Nikes, sweet. These are Urban Utility. They're really cool looking. I've never seen these before. So we got a pair of Nikes that have bondage straps on them and a double back zipper. These are actually really cool looking. I'm excited about these. I don't know what size they are. Oh, there it is, it's inside here. They are size eight and a half. All right. I would totally list these. That's pretty great. So, I mean, honestly, if all four of the shoes sell, I will get my money back and then the clothes will just be bonus. But again, I paid a hundred dollars and like five cents for this box because I did get 15% off from the promotion. So, okay. Thank you again for putting that on your Instagram and then on your YouTube channel so I could see it. I do think I did well. Uh, I Overall, I listed this many items, which makes my average cost of goods this. So it's, it's better than what I could do thrifting sometimes, especially if I'm thrifting at like Goodwill or the Dab sometimes. So the overall cost of goods is great and I have an unbroken streak of amazing men's boxes. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're, we're getting closer. We're still nowhere near a solid down payment, but this is only the fourth video and we got a couple months to go. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.